Hi everyone, I'm Dan from Flexible and today we're gonna to talk about how I automated and then exploded the lead generation part of my agency. Let's get stuck in. If you stick around to the end, I'm gonna get my account manager to kind of give you a bit of a look under the hood to see what this looks like and how you can use it to automate and explode your agency as well. For me to explain a little bit about what Leadbyte does, I'm gonna to have to kind of take a few steps back to explain a little bit more about what a 2022 lead generation business looks like, okay? Because what happens is the old way of doing things is that you would land a client on retainer, you would build them a landing page and put it on their website, you would send traffic to that landing page and you would send the, sell the leads to them or do it on a retainer or whatever that is on a one-to-one -one basis, okay? so. Let's say they spent 10,000 bucks a month, you're able to get them $100 leads. They got 100 leads a month and they're, they're kind of happy to pay you your monthly retainer. There has been a bit of an uprising in the lead generation industry where people moving a little bit more to performance-based lead generation, okay? Which means that you're able to have your own lead generation website, your own brand essentially. That could be in any vertical from home improvement, solar roofing, um, through to finance, mortgage, lending, there's so many different niches and niches within niches where you can have a really great lead generation website and be able to sell those leads on a per lead basis to your clients. So this was, you know, up until probably five or six years ago, there wasn't a great solution to be able to take all of the leads that you are generated and kind of sell them to, you know, different parts, different corners of the market, different clients at different prices and all that type of stuff. But some of these smart cookies, i.e. the guys at, guys at Leadbyte, figured out that this software can sit between the lead generation website and the panel of buyers, of lead buyers, right? So the leads can come in through your website and they can go to Leadbyte and then you can set a series of filters and rules, I guess, which means that if 100 leads come in, then you can sell 10 to client A at a high price, you can sell 30 to client B at a lower price and you can sell the other 70 to a client based on a flat fee or you know whatever that is. But then it's not just about the different prices you can sell at as well, right? The criteria of the lead coming through also makes a difference on where they go. If you think of it as a car finance lead, someone could be looking to finance a used car rather than a brand new car. You can use the criteria to filter and sell leads to different clients, okay? When we kind of first started in paper lead, we did it the old way, we used to have like manual systems and one landing page per client, one Facebook account or one kind of campaign per client based on the area that they were in. And we just used to kind of do it all manually until we figured out that there's actually really clever solutions that can automate all of that. And when we're able to focus and have a solution that would sell all the leads for us, we were then able to explode our agency. We, we literally went from kind of struggling on a retainer type model and having my first employee to kind of scaling to way over six figures a month like in in revenue from from pay per lead and it just changed extremely quickly when we're able to figure this out hopefully i've explained pretty well the way it works and what this looks like i'm going to hand you over to graham now so you can have a look under the hood and of course there'll be a link in the comments and also in the description if you do want to kind of have a conversation with lead bite who i would highly recommend they're in the uk but you can use them anywhere in the world their team is epic there's our office dog and um, they're gonna really help you out and you're in good hands. They can also connect you to clients who want leads as well. So I would highly recommend a conversation with them because they've got a great solution. So with that in mind, I'll pass you over to Graham. Enjoy, of course, if you like this video and you want more videos like it, please give us a like so we, or a thumbs up so we know to create more like this. If you have got any further comments or questions, please comment. Um, and lastly, subscribe to our channel. We'd love to see you around more. Take care. Hey guys, uh, thanks Dan. Um, so yeah, so what I'm going to do is basically just take you through the um, lead by dashboard and just kind of give a basic overview of what this soft software can do. Um, so this is in our live account um, and this is the dashboard so you can easily see uh, on a day by day or a month by month uh, basis uh, or a week, month or today. Uh, and then you can look at loads of other things. We only really look at lead activity here. Uh, and then you can pick all your different um, campaigns that you've got got running. It's kind of where you can uh, see see your reports. If you wanted to, there's another tab which you can run reports on. We don't run too many reports from Leadbyte as we have uh, all of it coming into kind of like spreadsheets and our CRMs. 
um, so we kind of do reporting off that um, but you can do it here um, so this is a lead system basically uh, this will show you all the leads that you've got um, so if you just put this month we can search this is across all of our um, I just did last month this month. so yeah this kind of takes you through um, all the leads all the different campaigns they're coming from all the different sources uh, so for example down here we've got some solar and some roofing uh, B2B stuff going on uh, and it will tell you whether they're from a lead ad or a lander uh, or from Leetook or Facebook lead ad uh, it tells you the supplier which is basically who's sending you the leads um, and that will be configured in your kind of like API into lead uh, and as I said the the um, the campaign we've uh, we've blurred out the names obviously this is where the names will be of each lead we'll blurred that out for privacy reasons obviously uh, and then it, it gives me each a, a lead id and also uh, a time and date when the lead came in pretty simple so far um and that's kind of like your visibility so, so you can see what's going on i'll just pop into to a lead obviously uh we've blurred out all the um the personal in information anyway uh it goes through it it tells you um Kind of all this as standard information. Obviously, you have to send it. Map, you have to map it in your API, and then you can also create custom fields within each campaign uh, to bring through custom fields that aren't standard. So these are kind of like, say, you, you've got questions in your quiz. Uh, you can bring those answers through uh, to here. Okay. Um, so to kind of set this up, uh, firstly, you kind of want to uh, create a campaign. So I'm going to go into one of our um, testing campaigns to show you what it looks like so you'll be setting this up uh the reference is important that's what you'll use in the api uh the name is just so you can see it in lead by it um and then obviously you can uh buy or selling leads and normally you'd be uh, buying them so basically normally this is all filled out for you uh normally i, I normally use the presets here uh obviously you want to change to how much you're um getting paid per lead um you want to set your uh, currency and your country um, I don't tend to do the start dates or end dates that's that's fine um, pay out, pay out supplier on buyer deliveries this is quite important to so say you've got uh, multiple people sending you leads that you are then selling on to your clients um, they will only get uh, kind of like tagged as like a payout if uh, the lead gets accepted by the buyer so if the lead is uh, invalid or doesn't get accepted um, by your rules um, in your campaign uh, then the supplier won't uh, get a payout so that's quite important to do you can um, the system accept so that that's a bit different to buyer delivery accept so what happens is um, supplier sends in uh, a lead the system will accept it then it will try and send it to your buyer via um, a delivery uh, and then if that delivery fails you don't want to be paying them if it fails because basically that hasn't that hasn't gone to the client if it's failed and there and you won't get paid for that so this is why we, we normally go with buyer delivery accept and normally fixed amount you can go percentage depending on what you're doing we, we normally have a fixed amount uh, and then if the supplier is in lead buyer as well they want to see how many leads they're they get they're selling but basically be visible to supplier and you can go and access to certain users um, and suppliers and all that kind of stuff here's where you can get down to the kind of like the rules of the of the campaign so cap so you can cap certain leads uh, to certain amounts of leads into a campaign that's up to you. you you can do that you can do it monthly weekly daily or hourly suppliers this is where you pick your suppliers so we've already got suppliers set, set up um, you may want to go and set up uh, a supplier so obviously we've got a few in here um, and we've got this is our main one and this is basically us supplying the leads to ourselves kind of thing that's how how we do it so if you're running all your all your own ads you just need one supplier yourself um, make a note of the SID number which is the supplier ID number um, that's what you'll be using in the API as well, um, and yeah, and then you'll just uh, have that as as that's the supplier, the sole supplier. Uh, deduplication. So this can make sure no dupes are coming through, um, and your client doesn't moan that they've got three people with the same number and address. Uh, so you just want to make sure that it checks uh, the phone and email, so there's no. Um, any dupes to come through and you can set the other days we don't, we don't have 30 uh, because if someone has put their inf information in 30 days ago we class that as kind of a dead lead uh, and then if they put re put their information in again then that is reignite our campaign has reignited them and then they should um, be uh, sold again 
Um, but after 30 days, I think I think it's reasonable to say that they should, they pay for that lead. They've got 30 days to work them. If they can't sell them and then they come in again, um, then that's after 30 days is where we have it. Uh, you, you can do whatever you want. Um, uh, so we don't have that set up, but yeah, that's the, that's, that, that's the basic deduplication. I would recommend having that on. If you've got other campaigns that are similar as well, you, you can check it against a, a, a different campaign that you've got on. Uh, again, we normally have campaigns for certain niches and then all our clients below that with that campaign. So we don't, we don't need that, but you may do. It's up to you guys. Advanced deduplication, we don't use this. Uh, this is in case you've got other fields that you may, you may, you may want to check that are duplicates. So say if it's got like, a, like an address maybe. Um, but again, we find that this type of du duplication is fine. I've never actually used the validation services that they have, uh, so I can't tell you much about that. Um, that will be something that you may go, you may, you guys may may want to speak to lead by about. Uh, I'm, I'm going to use those. Um, filter this can filter leads, so yeah, you would put up any filters that that you need. Say they need a certain credit score um, or something along those lines that you're passing through into um, lead by, and it's quantifiable. Then you can um, sort that out. Uh, then obviously the Facebook leads, that's where you can connect your Facebook ad lead ads to, so they can go straight into lead bite. Um, I think we use ours via Zappy at the moment because we're doing a lot of other stuff with that information, but you can do that. Advanced settings, uh, we always have live buyer responses on because uh, that will help if you're doing kind of like a holy grail funnel where you are got one calendar page, you can use lead bite um, to uh, spin the calendar page and then show their individual calendar that's attached to their lead bytes um, buyer account. Uh, but to do that, you need live responses ticked on. So we always make sure that's on. And yeah, so that's the that's the campaign setup really, very like the basic setup. Then you've got the buyers and suppliers. Buyers very simply is you just uh, put their kind of like their name. Let me just show you one. Here is where you can do the calendar stuff. Uh, so obviously we, we use high level uh, you can get their calendar ID from high level and pop it into exter the external ref section. Uh, and then you can use a bit of code on a page um, and that can spin the calendar depending on the things in here, basically. It takes a bit of tech. We teach that in our course. Um, so you're more than welcome to pop a comment below and ask how we do that. Uh, and we'll get back to you. Uh, suppliers, again, I've spoken about that. You, you've just got to set one up for yourself. And if you're getting loads of others in, you've got to set a supplier up for each person. Um, and then the deliveries. This is basically, they'll be linked to a campaign. As you can see, they're linked to a campaign. Um, I'm just gonna pop into one of these. So it's uh, linked to the, the what, Windows and Doors campaign. Um, so if a lead comes into a Windows and Doors, uh, we, we can have multiple clients running off that um, and being sent one-to-one uh, -one, or you can do a, a, a different waiting which I'll show you how to do in a sec um, and basically then you can do whatever you want you can JSON post it uh, you can integrate I think a, uh, a sheet as well generic URL pass-through we normally use a JSON post into high level um, we we use high, high level a lot uh, that's, that's the standard URL and then you can pop in a API key down here with authorization and this is the the string that this is the standard string where these are standardized fields in high level. These are our custom fields to get other 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 information in. Uh, you always have to uh, to add in. Where is it? Always want to add in ah, a a remote system response. So you want to make sure that it um, so you you know what the success response is. With guy level, it's just two hundred. Um, once you've added that in, you, you can test the delivery, and once it's received that response 200, uh, this will be able to be turned on. Um, and that's basically a very simple way of setting up uh, your Leadbyte account. Um, when sending in leads in to Leadbyte, uh, you would need to go over to admin and set up a, a REST API. Uh, that will, in turn, will give you a URL, uh, an API URL that you can use. Uh, in say a lead hook node or in Zapier that will uh, push leads into lead bite. And basically you'll need uh, the reference of the campaign, uh, I think the supplier ID, and then a few other things if you wanted it in there, which if you need help with that, just pop a comment below and maybe we can do an another video on that. But yeah, overall lead bite is a 
sensational software. Uh, we've we've utilised it massively with our agency, and it just does a lot of uh, cool stuff. Like this is the very basic stuff it can do. Very basic lead distribution. You can set up rules um, for each for each buyer. Uh, so I think there's um, what is it down here. So there's rules down here, so you can um, make sure that they've got the right postcode, so that they don't get sent wrong postcodes, things like that. Um, you can even have uh, responders as well to message to message out when you've got a lead or message uh, a client. It's all very very good stuff, and they're constantly improving, and they've got an amazing support team uh, that are always very uh, on hand to give any uh, tech support that you, that you may need. Also, their knowledge base is one of the best I've I've come across. When I first used Lead by I didn't have a clue. And I learned it all just by going through their knowledge base. Didn't have to reach out to them once. Uh, it's very, very in-depth. Uh, and yeah, I can't recommend it enough. Um, so hopefully this was helpful, guys. Again, if you're trying to set stuff up in Lead Byte and you're struggling, pop a comment below. and we can, uh, I, I can try and get back to you and help you. Okay, cheers, guys. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.